people, welcome to today's full day of eating. First thing we're gonna have today is something nice and light. I recommend this for anyone that has a sweet tooth, someone that loves sweet tasting things, we also want something nutritious. Try this out. Apples, light dust of cinnamon, and some zero calorie syrup. Trust me, it's gonna taste pretty good. It's basically simulating like an apple pie without like the extra calories. Then I'm gonna have the Vimto Clear Whey. Yeah, and this is gonna be me. I'll put the macros on screen so you guys can see, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. So yeah, I'm gonna have these two now. Calories on screen, you should have seen it, comes up to literally under 200 calories, so it's pretty low. But I'm telling you, these apples are pretty filling. I've also actually had some upgrades to the kitchen. So the new stove you saw in the last video, got a new oven, and I also bought myself a new air fryer. So we got a Ninja. So basically, stay tuned for various new recipes that I'll be able to do now that I've got these new appliances. Anyways, I'll see you guys after I come back from the gym. All right, scratch what I said. I was told that my delivery that I've been waiting on for like two days was meant to come in the next hour and it's been around 40 minutes so far and it still hasn't came. So what I'm gonna do now is make something else just to hold me over till I go to the gym. And here we have it, a simple quick meal to have. This is basically egg on toast. Two whole eggs and one wholemeal bagel cut in half with a little bit of butter on it as well. Nice and simple and it is quite filling because bagels themselves are quite thick. So I'm gonna have that now. The calories you should see on the screen, I think it's roughly around the 400 calorie marker, around 26, 27 grams of protein. Um, realistically, I should be adding back in my egg whites soon, so I'll take out one of the whole eggs. That'll put the calories closer to probably about 350. Anyways, what I'm gonna do right now, people, is eat that meal, hopefully get my package in the next maybe 30, maybe 40 minutes, go to the gym, and then come back and show you guys the next meal that I'm gonna make. And don't forget to hit the video with a like button if you're liking it so far. Support you, boy. Alright, peace. I'll show you briefly what's inside. Shit, I just broke my girlfriend's pen. I believe a good bunch of it is clothing just because of the hot weather lately. I've been sweating a lot doing my walks and my cardio and training and stuff. As for supplements, I think the only thing in this package that is supplements is two things and they're actually energy drinks. One of them is this pre workout drink by Eddie Hall. And then the other one is actually the Energy BCAAs Jelly Belly flavors. It's one of the new ones. Per can is 10 calories. It tastes nice, but it's for people that really want a really sweet, 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 sweet drink. Me personally, I'll still drink this bomb. Don't think I could drink it all the time. Like for example, take a White Monster. A White Monster is a classy drink that most people that have it can probably have it year round and not get sick of it. Whereas sometimes the flavored monsters, they taste good, but then you probably wouldn't have them all the time. That's how I kind of feel with this. Just my honest opinion. But if you're someone that loves jelly beans, you're probably gonna love this. Back from the gym. Uh, yeah, this is the physique so far. So we're still cutting down the weight people. What we're gonna have now is something nice, quick and simple, cause I've been craving it for a couple days. So I made sure to buy one. Ooh, we are going for a pizza. This is something I found at something like I've never heard of pizza. This pizza is one that I found at Aldi and it's not bad on calories. Typically I'd eat half the pizza and that is 370 calories and around 17 grams of protein. But today I am having the full pizza, I've been craving it. It's the sweet chili pizza, it's very nice. So the base is, instead of being tomato puree, it's basically sweet chili, so it's a sweeter tasting pizza. So, and oh, by the way, when I came back from the gym, I had this on the way home, protein bar. It is called the Coated Crispy Wafer Bar for my protein. It tastes all right. Um, I wouldn't say it's as good as the typical protein bar I typically have, which is the um, the Crispy Bar. Uh, this one technically is more calories and a little bit less protein, only 12 grams, but it did taste pretty nice. I'll, I'd give it like a solid 7.5, I think, on taste. But if you're looking for, like, if you're on a low calorie diet, I'd probably opt for the other one instead of this. And the funny thing is, I was gonna say, is that this pizza, this whole pizza, is only two grams more protein than this entire protein bar, just because it's not a high fat pizza due to the ingredients. Very simple, 
basic ingredients. If you ever go past Aldi, try this one. It's often out of stock because it is pretty tasty and low calorie. What I am going to do is add a little bit more toppings on top to give it a little bit more protein. Uh, just because, even though I do like this pizza, it's a little bit lower protein than I typically get. So I'm just going to add some simple toppings. So we got some... Uh, I don't want to add the chorizo, that's going to add extra fat, I don't really want too much of that. But we have the last of my ham that I can add onto it, and I think today is one of the last days I can use it anyway. So let me just weigh the ham, I'm going to add it on top. Another reason why this pizza isn't super high fat either is because it doesn't have an excessive amount of cheese on it. Which for me is perfect because I don't really like super super cheesy cheesy things. Um, but yeah, if you're someone that likes a lot of cheesy pizza, like a proper, I would then probably Get some low-fat cheese and add it on top as well and just melt it on it. It feels weird using an oven. I haven't had an oven working in like four or five years. And that's why those of you that watch my full day videos have never really seen me use an oven. I want to see my arms before I went to the gym. I feel like I do see a little bit of a pump, which is interesting because I didn't have the greatest of push workouts just, but I do feel like I see a little bit more of a pump. <laughs> Slowly getting leaner. Anyways, I will see you guys once this pizza's done. Today is a typical day where I'm gonna say I'm probably gonna be hitting lower protein than I typically would in a day. Like I usually try and aim for, usually for myself, at least 170 grams of protein. That's roughly one pound per gram of body weight. I could probably get away with 160. Today, I'm gonna try and just push it up to at least 140. And that was simply because some of the meals, like for example, instead of having the pizza, I would normally have something a lot more higher protein. But today, is a day where I just wanna kinda of be a bit more free. And my main thing I wanna get across to you guys is, so many people message me and they're worried about if I don't hit my protein allowance, does that mean no gains are made that day? That is not the case, you know what I mean? Yes, it's more optimal to try and hit your protein every single day, but one or two days in the space of a, a week, a month, a year, it doesn't make it that grand big of a deal. Now, if the majority of the year you're not hitting your protein intake, it's going to be an issue, but the odd sporadic day is not that bad. And for the average person, hitting at least 140 grams of protein, especially if you're a man, is probably going to be enough for you anyway. Some guy in one of our YouTube live streams I've been doing was talking about is 70 grams of protein high per day. And obviously 70 grams of protein per day is not a lot of protein. That's pretty low. That's like half, you know what I mean? What I'd probably recommend to someone. That's a man anyway. So in that scenario, yes, I definitely would address your diet and try and improve it up. You know what I mean? But in between 140 and the 170 grams mark, it's not going to be a massive difference if the odd day you don't make it. Uh, and oh yeah, by the way, I've mentioned the live streams. For those of you who don't know, we do YouTube live streams on this channel. So I've started doing them two weeks ago. So now I go on live for probably about an hour and we talk about fitness topics and Q&A questions. So if you have any fitness questions you're stuck with, make sure you subscribe and obviously hit the notification bell. So it'll alert you when I'm actually doing a YouTube live stream and basically just join it and then ask a question. So yeah, if you have any fitness questions you're stuck on, whether it's nutrition or actual training in the gym, feel free to join the lives and we'll go over it then. Anyways, I've got about another 10 more minutes till the food's done. Oh, that smells good. I can smell it. I almost had a pizza burn. I won't pay attention. All right. Ah, hot. Oh, the ham almost burnt off the top, but I'm looking forward to having that. Telling ya. If you like a sweet, if you like sweet chili, you'll love this pizza. The base is just so much sweeter, but then the meat obviously is more like salty and just like salty sweet pizza in a sense. It tastes really good. All right, peeps. Next up, I almost forgot to show you. I'm not even gonna lie. I started making the the, the protein smoothie and realized I wasn't meant to be doing something today. I remember that I was doing the full day in. So yeah, right now we're doing the um the smoothie shake. We're just doing our uh, strawberries. Half a banana, which is super, super black, so it's gonna be super squidgy on the inside, but that's also when bananas are sweetest, but this is probably the darkest I've ever seen. It's probably gonna look bare, like super sticky on the inside, which means super sweet. Uh, so I'm gonna have half of that, strawberries, I've already added ice, and some protein as well. Um, this is partly for two reasons. One, we need to get the protein intake for the day higher, because obviously some of the foods I've eaten, and two, it's still so damn hot in this house, man. It's humid and I just don't have an appetite to eat loads of food. Having a nice, cool, refreshing ice smoothie just makes things so much simpler. Um, so yeah, for those of you that follow these recipes, you can do loads of inversions. In the past, I used to do chocolate and sometimes banana 
Um, there's loads of different recipes, but lately this is the one that I love the most. This was actually the smoothie that helped me actually liking bananas, because those of you that, that follow me for a while knows I used to hate bananas, never could eat them, but I used to blend them in my smoothies, and after a while, I got used to the taste, and it just became easier to actually eat them as well, so shouts out to the smoothies. And one of the final ingredients, which is the flavor drops. We're gonna all blend this up right now. I will say that banana was super, super, super mushy. It was falling apart in my fingers. Turn it upside down. Try and shake it up a bit. Make sure that most of the protein is not touching the sides. Yeah, and then blend it up. Right, one loud smoothie layer and here we go and this is quite a lot this is almost full to the top it says uh, 600 milliliters which is actually more than I thought it would be and as I said in the last video always drop some ice in there to sink to the bottom but yeah people that's gonna be the protein smoothie you'll see the macros and calories on screen I went back and blended out like an extra five ice cubes in it give it a much thicker consistency just because it, it's so big that if I kept it how it was it was perfect to drink as it was but by the time I would have got to the bottom it would have been all weird all right people we're gonna go make the next meal so what we're gonna do now I think typically you always see me use the frying pan but what I'm gonna do is cook this in the air fryer and I'll tell you how long it takes because lately I've been cooking in the air fryer, obviously the new one, which is the, uh, the Ninja, it cooks super rapid. It cooks so fast sometimes, I actually don't believe the food's cooked. So a few times I've actually almost burnt food because I just feel like it cooks it so damn quick. So these chicken fillets are the ones from Aldi. And this flavor is not too bad. It's the um, firecracker chicken breast thing. I'll probably still add barbecue sauce on top of it because I just like the taste of it. But overall, what I'm going to do now, this is big fillets, I'm going to slice them up thin and put them in the air fryer. Uh, usually I flip it over at least once, so I normally put it on around 170 for like 7 minutes, then flip it over and try and do it for another 7 minutes, but lately, it's been cooking in like 12 minutes. You know what I mean? Everything's white on the inside of the meat, there's no blood dripping out of it, the juices run clear, those are all the checks for chicken. It passes them all, so it's like... One of those things, if the if it passes all the checks, it's cooked, I eat it, I don't get sick, so obviously it's cooked, but it feels weird, because I'm used to always cooking my chicken for at least 22 minutes, usually. Maybe 20 if the frying pan's dead hot. So yeah, but that's, still getting some, that's still getting some used to, like, using the air fryer to cook. By the way, it's pretty big as well, so it's a pretty big air fryer. People, we put it on for the time. I think I put it on for like nine or eight minutes. I haven't even looked at it yet. Okay, it's not burnt, but it does look like it's getting close. So nine minutes. Oh wait, you just got sweaty. So nine minutes on or eight minutes on the 170 makes it look like that. So I'm gonna flip it over and probably put it on for five minutes now. Definitely say this cooks faster than the other air fryer I used to have, like the halogen oven. Definitely, it's a more of a, a, a cook through and everything. The other one was more like to be honest, a mini oven, literally. If I put it on the same, I'm going to put it on the same heat again just for principle to see what it looks like at four minutes. I will say just save time. So when I'm in a rush, knowing that I can cook meats a lot faster is great. Someone said that, um, that they cook full steaks in there. I would never have thought to cook a full steak in an air fry to be honest. I normally like doing it on the frying pan so I can keep an eye on it, see it seared properly. Please let me know how it came out if you put like a complete steak in the air fryer. Just like this, like not cold. Just, I would like to know, because I feel like it's such an odd thing, but loads of people on Instagram said they did. All right, folks, we are almost done. We've done the five minutes. Let's see what it looks like. Um, I'm happy I didn't put it on for the extra eight minutes. I'm happy I never could have burnt it. So I'll take off what I don't want. So in my fitness part, I'll put in 185 grams of chicken. The salad, I am not tracking that today. It's virtually nothing. Lace is just almost garnished. There's very little nutrition. In terms of my fitness part, this meal will come up to around 425 calories. In terms of the protein, we're looking at 54 grams of protein, fat is 6 grams, carbs is 37, which puts our total for the day around 2,300 calories. And in terms of macros, which will also be seen on the screen, we are looking at oh, yeah. macros, we're looking at 179 grams of protein, 60 grams of fat, and 258 grams of carbs. 
they are actually pretty good. I didn't think I was going to be able to get the protein up as high as I said. I think earlier in the video I mentioned I thought I'd only probably hit around 150, but I still managed to get to 180 thanks to obviously me rejigging the day based on what I had. For example, I purposely reduced the fat. I thought my fat's going to be higher than 60. 60 grams is not terrible. I normally try and stay between 45 and 65 grams of fat. Usually I'm near the lower end, but I'm, I don't mind being at the higher end. But overall, when it comes to this stuff, you need to decide based on what you eat earlier in the day if you need to make things on the fly. Today, I still fit in pizza. I did have other snacks as well. And overall, you just once you get more intuitive with your diet, uh, you start to realize where you can kind of fit things in and even make the day overall still come out good. Because I literally thought today I was not going to reach my goal. You know, I mean, thankfully the chicken fillies pushed up as well. That's something I went and bought. I was initially going to have um, steak or some lamb. Now, in regards to the actual taste of the chicken, I will say, Cooking chicken fillets in the air fryer compared to the actual pan, I do notice a difference. On the pan, personally, I feel like it's a little bit more succulent, like it's a little bit more juicy, whereas on the air fryer, maybe because I'm still doing it a little bit more longer than it should, because I'm scared of it not being cooked, it's a little bit more drier, so you almost have to eat the food immediately when it comes out. Like, for example, something not to do is to then pull out your camera, spend time, set up the shops, and then talking about the food instead of eating it straight away. But overall, um, the air fryer definitely cooks a lot faster. I think once, I get used to it being able to cook so damn fast. I'll probably be able to eat it when it's a little bit more succulent, but overall, between the two, that's the biggest difference. I would say it makes it more crunchy and crispy, which is fine. Some people love having the chicken like that. I think for breaded things like cooking fried chicken, uh, making chips, things that you want to be really crispy, I think the air fry is great. Things like this shit, I still need to master myself. Anyways, people, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to stay tuned for another full day of eating and let me know what calories would you like to see me go for next. Deuces.